First, a verbal attack caught on camera. Hello and thanks for joining us live at 11. I'm Kelsey McFarland. Trisha Keene has the night off. We first told you last week about a Las Vegas man telling his elderly Asian neighbor to die after police say he slammed him into the ground and punched him several times. Our Elizabeth and court looked into questions you had about this case and shares those answers with us tonight. After first airing this story last week, many of you reached out wondering why Christian Lentz was only charged with residential burglary and how could it be that he was released from jail so soon? Well, the former Clark County District Attorney says police did everything they could with the evidence they had. It's after 4 p.m. on Tuesday, May 30th. 75-year-old Amadeo Quindara is resting in his garage when his neighbor, Christian Lentz, pays him a not-so-friendly visit. Good job. Hi. How are you? You're done. You should get on your ventilator. In the video, you can see Lentz walking away, but just 30 minutes later, he returns, and this time, Quindara says Lentz was ready to attack. Die. Die. Oh All the punches that he was giving me, here, here, and then he lifted me up and slammed me to the ground causing my head injury here. The only thing I could do is shout. The beating left him with deep cuts on his head, a black eye, and an emotional suffering that he says simply can't be treated. The, the physical, you could recover from that, but if you keep thinking about what happened, that's the thing that helped me most. Lentz was arrested and charged with felony residential burglary. However, he was released from jail less than a week later. Former Clark County District Attorney David Roger gives insight into the charge and why more couldn't be done. The problem that we have here is that it does not appear that police had sufficient evidence to prove a felony against uh, the, this victim. Not that they didn't want to. Roger says because the actual alleged beating wasn't caught on camera and Quindara didn't have what classifies as substantial bodily harm under Nevada law, officers had limited options. In order to prove substantial bodily harm, the statute requires them to show either a loss of limb, loss of bodily function, or prolonged pain and suffering. Roger says had they had more concrete evidence, Lentz could have faced additional charges, including enhancements for beating a victim over the age of 60. I know that police uh, struggled uh, with this uh, because the uh, conduct is so reprehensible. Uh, the victim is so innocent. They want to be able to charge this individual with more crimes, uh, but the, the law has really kind of tied their hands. As Quindara continues to recover at home, just two doors down from the man who attacked him, he hopes for justice and worries for his well-being. Inside my house, which I think this is the most safest place for me to stay, I didn't think this was going to happen. Now, Quindara is in the process of filing a restraining order against his attacker. As for Christian Lentz, he's scheduled to be back in court on July 3rd. Reporting in studio, I'm Melissa Bethencourt.